When I was a little girl, my family and I used to travel a lot. Well, my parents did anyway. I would only really travel as far as Montana, the big sky country. Home of Evil Knievel, Custer's Last Stand, and Aunt Edna. Every summer, my parents would pack me up and take me to her house while they would go off on one of their grand adventures. It's not that I didn't like Aunt Edna. It's just that all we ever did was make jam, and then when we were done, oh, we would make more jam. It was during those long summer days that I learned to love art. I'd sit on the front porch with my crayons and create a new world, one that helped me deal with my isolation and loneliness. When I was coloring, I was free, free to be anywhere I wanted, free from jam. I drew the things around me and saw the world with new eyes. But I really longed for someone to play with, to talk to. I needed a friend. And then one day it happened. That was the day. I met Cy. can't move. Sai? I can't resist any longer. What are you up to? I've been working on my own art piece. Ah! Hey, hey, you can't touch it. This is a work of art, okay? This is your nose. These are your beautiful eyes. <gasps> Jess. Jess is home. <gasps> until I find it. You lost it again? I don't know what I ever saw in that sniveling, slimy, no good weasel. I believe it was his eyes. Hey, what are you working on? Uh, nothing. Oh, yeah, right. Like, I believe that. Jessica. Come on, Abby, let me see it. Okay. Oh. Sai? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's hot. No wonder I never get to meet him. Okay, <laughs> that's enough. You know, I'm telling you, Abby, it is time you start showing your work in galleries. I don't know. I'm just not ready yet. Well, sometimes you just gotta take a chance. You know what? Sounds like a great idea, but I am late for school. Bye. Well, what about my name tag? Use mine. <sighs> I tried that last week. <laughs> Days, this baby's gonna be ready to roll. Congratulations, Cal. That's quite a feat. Thank you. Now, how do you plan on getting it out of here? <laughs> Through the door? Good luck with that. Oh, yeah, that's 
not gonna fit. Realism can be expressed as a depiction of the irrational state of our subconscious. What did Nyman say on page 52 of your reading about surrealists? Come on. Anybody. Please tell me somebody read the assignment. Miss Morrison. Well, he said that surrealists believe that the dream state, it could be just as relevant as our waking lives. Mm. Yes. They also construe that the universe is only as real as it seems. And sometimes, things that feel the most real are the least substantive. Like these papers? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Andrews. You weren't dreaming. That is a real D. <laughs> please, please, do your reading. Professor, I, I think you made a mistake in my paper. No, Mr. Andrews, the mistake was when you took this class thinking you had an easy humanity credit. I understand, but I really need this credit. Should have thought about that six weeks ago. The D stands. Well, not your finest hour. I just, I just don't get this stupid pseudo surrealist crap. It's not crap. What'd you say? I said it's not crap. And how do you know? Oh, A plus. Sorry, I didn't know I was speaking to an expert. Well, now you know. You really need to work on new people skills. Oh, it's the third time today, man. Do you understand the meaning of level? No, that's that's okay. Why don't you come on down and follow me? I've got a job less complicated for you. Here you go. Have a nice day. See you later. Jessica's late again. Well, you told her not to come back without her name tag. I did. Four hours ago. She's probably just still looking for it, Ryan. I like you, Abby. I do. That's why I'm telling you this, because I know that you depend on Jessica for part of the rent. What are you trying to say, Ryan? I mean, you're not going to fire her because she lost her name tag. Look, name tags are company policy. Besides, a patron is 76% more likely to talk to someone with a name tag than with that. Look, you want to save her job. I understand that. Stay till she gets here. Why? We're short. Ryan, there's no one in the store. That's beside the point. No! She works books. I mean, I work coffee. It doesn't even make any sense. Are you arguing with me? <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm just... Ryan, look, tonight's my anniversary, and I'm supposed to be making dinner for my boyfriend, so it just... I want you to go home. I do. But if your little friend thinks she can come in whenever she wants, then someone has to cover for her. Are we clear? As mud. Good. I think all these should be straight. Excuse me, welcome to Borders. Uh, oh. You don't happen to carry the idiot's guide to art appreciation? I was told it has lots of pictures. Mm -hmm. I think it's in the juvenile section. That's good, it's even sort of funny. So, do you want to order something or what? Do you just come here to annoy me? Wow, okay. Uh, let me get the chocolate cheesecake. Okay, would you like any coffee with that? To be perfectly honest, I feel like you might spit in it. Hmm. Clever. You don't like me much, do you? It's funny, I thought you were slow. Abigail. <laughs> That's a weird name. It's Abby. So, uh, have a nice day. Cheesecake? Yeah, right. Where have you been? Your class. Okay, here you go. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh, my God. oh, um, one 
these. These will work for you. They're on the house. No, it's, it's all on me. Oh, God. I don't like it when you start a conversation like that. You know my cousin, the one who just transferred here this semester? Well, I don't know him, know him. Well, you're going to. He's coming over for dinner tonight. What? No, Jess, uh... Me? I was wondering if you knew where I could find a book on embroidery. Shh. What? Don't you work here? Do I look like I work here? He's not that bad, I promise. It's just that I wasn't expecting to see him, and I really didn't know what to say. And he mentioned that we should get together sometime. And I sort of said, sure, you know, because that's what you say. And he's like, well, okay, dinner tonight. And I'm like, you know how I am with the no word. No, Jessica. No, it's my anniversary. I'm making dinner for Sai. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have his new number. Well, maybe I could, like, walk around camp. find him. No. You know what? It's fine, actually. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. He can come over? Yeah. He can come over. Bye. Thanks, Abby. Okay, bye. Hi, Ryan. Happy anniversary. They're beautiful. Oh. No, for you. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm, he smells so good. Thank you. You haven't made dinner for me, have you? You know, you didn't, you didn't need to do that. Yeah. Um. I didn't. I was going to, but Jess called and she said that she's going to bring her cousin over for dinner. What, here? O on our anniversary? Mm-hmm. Well, well, I mean, no, no, that's fine. I mean, no, actually, it's good. It's... F you don't mind? Come on. How could I be mad with you? I can't. We'll just, you know what? We'll go do something fun afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, we could go see a movie. We'll go see one of those romantic movies. You like gushy movies. I love it. <laughs> I know you do. Thank you. No, he said that if I stayed, he wouldn't fire you. I don't know why you dated him in the first place. You know, sometimes I wish I had a boyfriend like Sai. Yeah, he would never fire you. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, I, I really needed that job. Why don't you just get another one? It's easier said than done. Here, you need them more than I do. Oh. Where'd they come from? From Sai. Sai. Oh. No, it's not like that. He's just not very good at color selection, so I help him out a bit. I don't think any guy I've dated has ever given me flowers. Hmm. 
ever. Well, except Ryan the super slut when he cheated on me with that lunch lady. Hey, didn't Ryan the narcissist send you flowers once? Yeah, only so he could hear himself compliment himself for a week. I just don't understand. There's so many guys in the world. Why do you only date guys with the name of Ryan? It's my curse. And I'm Abby. Hi. Nice to meet you. She's just running a few minutes late. Okay. Hi. Hi. Who's this? Oh, this isn't your cousin? Who's not my cousin? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh. Hey, I. Mm. Megan doesn't live here, does she? Oh, next door. Apartment 14. Right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Hey, buddy. All yours. Hey, Jess. Hey, cuz. Abigail, right? Abby. Yeah. You two know each other? Oh, we've met before. Really? When? Well, we're in the same art depreciation class. <laughs> and then today when I came by the bookstore to Don't find you... Don't go there. Go where? Am I missing something? No. Yes. Kill me now. Well, come in. Have a seat. <sighs> so, what's with the pajamas? Bad day. Okay, pajamas it is. I got fired. You what? Oh, this egomaniac that I work for has had it out for me ever since I dumped him. Let me take a guess. Uh, Ryan? You know him? Let's just call it a hunch. George. Well, it's worth asking. Honey, why don't you bring something in with you? Like, uh, why don't you bring that turkey? You're right. Who could resist this turkey? Gobble, 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 gobble. Yoo-hoo! Abigail! Hey, Mrs. Morrison. Oh, hi, Jessica. Mom, Dad, um, I wasn't expecting you guys. Did you want something? Well, we're just fine, aren't we, George? Oh, who's this nice young man? Oh, this is my cousin, Quinn. Nice to meet you. How do you do, Quentin? Uh, Mom, Dad, I asked you what you wanted. We're going to the cemetery. I'm going to decorate for Thanksgiving. <laughs> you decorate a relative's grave for the holidays? Oh, no, dear. We decorate our own no, graves. Mom, Mom, Mom. You see, George bought our plots as a 20th anniversary present. And I thought the poor things looked a little empty. So for our 25th anniversary, Mary Louise bought a headstone. It's got Morrison written in big letters. And then George on one side and Mary Louise on the other. So we'll always be together. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> so please, come with us this time. No. Yes, please, you never come. Mom, I, I don't, I don't want to go decorate my parents' graves. You know, with my parents. I, it's a cemetery, don't people complain? Honey, they can't, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show her the turkey. Oh. See, we got a little turkey. Turkey, 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 turkey. Oh, go. turkey, turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Quentin and Jessica could come along. Uh, thank you, but uh, I'm not much of a decorator. Oh, Abigail always says that, and she's quite the artist. Mom, nobody's interested here. You're just going to have to go be morbid by yourself. Sorry. Well, you're just going to have to miss a good time, then. Well, in that case, you must come along with Abigail and Jessica to Thanksgiving. Well, I... I'm not going to take no for an answer. Trust me, she won't. Well, if it's no trouble. Well, I wouldn't ask if it were. Mother, can I please speak what? to you for a second? Please, now look. I am sure that he's already got plans for that day. Well, he wouldn't say yes if he already had plans, do you? There, that's settled. Mother, I don't want him to come. <gasps> I don't want him to come. If I could interject, please. Oh, what nice manners. Maybe it's best if I just pass on the invitation. Well, she didn't invite you, dear. I did. We're off. We'll see you but all for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Bye, Dad. I'm Bye. Please, Bye. Dad. Dad, Dad. Nice meeting you. Making mac and cheese? Are you kidding? Boil, drain, add milk, and butter, then stir. <gasps> nice catch. Thanks. That's like five steps. I made ramen. It's only three. Tear it open, dump it in, throw it away. So, how are your classes? They're all right. I mean, if I don't pass this art class, I could pretty much say goodbye to law school. Oh, well, Abby could teach you. She's a great teacher. No, she's not. 
Well, but you want to be. And what better way to get experience than by teaching someone? He is not teachable. I'm a great student. That's doubtful. Look, I'll make you a deal. You help me pass art class, and I won't ruin your Thanksgiving. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Uh, you see, spending four hours with you and my parents is so much easier than spending an entire semester tutoring you. Okay. What if I get Jess her job back and I don't come to your Thanksgiving dinner? And we do need the rent money. And that's my final offer. No, and that is my final answer. Okay. You know what, Abby? You're right. I mean, you have bailed me out one too many times. Well, thank you. So, I'll just go upstairs and um, pack my bags. Don't worry, I'll be out of your hair by the morning. Jess. No, it's fine. I've always wanted to know what it'd be like to live in a cardboard box. Okay, okay. Jess, it's fine. I got it. It's... Uh, okay, listen. You get Jess her job back and you don't come with me for Thanksgiving and... You've got a deal. Who in the world has parents that decorate their own grave? I mean, I must have been adopted. Oh, gosh! Oh, and I got caught into helping this boy out with his homework. He's a decent chap, isn't he? No, no, no. Would you like him? Yeah, I feel like a migraine. Oh, come on. Well, if you need some help, maybe you should just give him a hand. No, I think he's obnoxious. But don't you think that maybe as a teacher you might have to deal with one or two obnoxious students? No, I don't think as a teacher I have to deal with one or two obnoxious students. Oh, no! How long are we supposed to look at this? Huh? Well, you seem to know the routine around here. What's the standard time of staring at something like this without looking too pretentious? Yeah, well, it's not about a set period of time. You just have to appreciate what the artist is trying to say. It looks like spaghetti. Okay, well, to you, it might. You know, I happen to see something else. Fettuccine, got it. Do you dismiss everything you don't understand? Well, I haven't dismissed you yet, have I? <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is, my kid sister could paint something more realistic, and she's 10. It's not about realism, it's about how it makes you feel. And it makes me feel hungry. Okay, well, if you want a good grade, you're gonna look past the spaghetti. <sighs> Oh, wow. Did you feel that? Huh. We just had our first moment. <gasps> You're an idiot. But you felt the l nothing, huh? But just a little bit? So your parents are cool? To you, maybe. What does that mean? It means you didn't grow up with them. So what's the deal? I don't know you well enough to tell you my life history. Oh, come on. They weren't around a lot. End of story. Do you want to hear my life story? Hmm. I don't, actually. Come on, it involves fire juggling and a midget. So, uh, you up for something to eat? Mm. I think I'll pass, but thank you. What, you have a better offer? Maybe. <laughs> What? Well, I was thinking, with your quirky personality, you must not go out too often. I get plenty of dates. I in fact, that's where I'm headed as soon as I'm finished helping you. Really? Yeah, don't act so shocked. What's his name? His name is... It's none of your business. That's what I thought. His name is Sai, which is short for Simon. Are you always this annoying? I like to call it being honest. Well, Mr. Andrews, there is such a thing as being a bit too honest. Hey, Quinn, it's Nikki. I thought we could study together for law tonight, and then maybe we... Hey, Quinn, it's Cal. You know, if you press this button, you can leave a memo. Check one, mark check, sibilant, sibilant. Hey, Quinn, it's Lisa. I thought we could go dance. Are you calling me Quinn? Excuse me. Give me the phone. So gross. Ah, my hair. I got a message for you, girl. Hey, buddy. How's it going?
get back? Uh, just now. How was your day? It's good. I uh, met a girl. Uh, just be careful, bro. That's a four-letter word. No, she's uh, she's different. Uh, actually, I think the proper term today is challenged. No, Cal. She's uh, better. Better? Come on, was she better than the cheerleader? Yeah, too bubbly. What about the librarian? Boring. That cute little redheaded chick. No eyebrows. Yeah, well, they're all different, man. That's why they just call them women. Quick question. Yeah. When are you get a new game? They make new games. <laughs> Language section. Financial book you have in your hand. Financial section's over there. Look what we did. Look what they did. Yep. I see this? Yep. Hang on. Well, look at this. They're working on the 19 one quarter. I mean, I, I haven't oh. seen anything like this since 84. Eastern. Oh, ski resorts on the same show. Would be good. Okay. I obviously didn't get the memo. Can I help you guys? Get us the manager, son. I'm the manager. You're Mr. Sounders. And Mr. Sanders. That's what I said. There he is, right there. And you are? Schlosky. Schlosky. Jack Schlosky. Managing Director of Corporate Infrastructure. You didn't get the L10 memo, did you? L L10? <laughs> there goes the Q4 profits. Mm. Q4 profits. Who said anything about the Q4 profits? He just... We just drove in from corporate. Oh, from Michigan. Yes, from Michigan. 18-hour drive. Without a bathroom stop. Without a bathroom stop. If that helps illustrate the seriousness of the situation. Do we have a problem? <laughs> Problem is, you have your store in the old format. This is last year's format here, son. I, I I didn't know we had a format. Marketing has determined consumers have an easier time locating books. If you move everything from there to there, and from there to there, yada, yada, yada. It's all outlined right here in this packet. You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, we can be serious. We've been serious. We're serious right now. Bottom line is, if you don't move these sections, we move you. You get the point, eh? Are you sure you're from corporate? Yes. He just transferred in from the Canadian corporate offices. Oh. Yeah, they're just like the American offices, just with hockey. Oh, the whole store? Do you want to be responsible for losing franchising rights? No. Because I have the power to shut this place down. He does. I do. He's got the power. The power. What power? Of Grayskull. Hey, look, it's just I'm a little short-staffed right now. And why is that, Mr. Sanders? Well, I had to let somebody go. Who? Uh, Jessica Lindstrom. Why? She has some less than desirable work habits. Lindstrom. Jessica, look that up. Lindstrom, it's L-L-Y. L-I. And there's, yeah, it's D. D, it's right after D. Ah, 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 too many letters, no, shh, shh, shh. You guys dated. How did you know that? It's in your personal records. Mm -hmm. We know everything. Everything? Everything. Everything. You fired someone, you dated? You crazy man? You wanna open yourself up to a multi-million dollar lawsuit? No, geez, no. <laughs> then I suggest you hire her back. Immediately. With the raise. Without question. There sh shouldn't be any questioning. Now, go get your store in order. I, I, I will, I okay, will. Okay, you know what? You got one week. One week, then we come back with the auditors. The auditors are coming? Mm-hmm. Prime director from corporate, C3PO. Can, can I get your business card? Um, uh. Why? So you can call me looking for answers to questions you clearly should know? Oh, I don't think so, son. I understand. I understand. Go. Okay. Told you we needed business cards. If Monet is regarded as the Impressionist par excellence, one must admit that both Degas and Renoir also... If you don't pay attention, it's not gonna work. Oh, I just don't get it. It's so boring. I need a break. Where's your bathroom? It's, um, down the hallway. These are really good. Um, this isn't the 
the bathroom. What's this? Um, it's not done. <laughs> you know, I know a place we could show these. I bet you make money off this. You know what? It's just, it's, it's really not about money for me, so... Then why do it? If I have to tell you, it's not worth it. Go, go! There are always two people in art. The observer and the observed. Remember, art is subjective. Each person gains new insights as they allow themselves to become immersed in art. Let's turn to this last week's assignment. What new insights did you gain from the exhibit? Mr. Andrews? Well, uh, <clears throat> well, there's this one artist named uh, Dylan Thompson who said, surrealism has less to do with what is random and senseless and more to do with accepting that our lives don't always have to make sense. Go on. Well, uh, <clears throat> I remember looking at one of his paintings, and for someone willing to take the time, they could really find something deeper to connect with. That's valid. Kind of. Like those who judge people before they get to know what's really inside. Good observation. Now, let's turn to page uh, 621. You see what you created? Oh, I didn't do anything. You taught. I learned. So, Sai's cool with this whole tutoring thing, right? Yeah, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's pretty understanding. Great. Uh, see you later. Okay. Hey, Abby. Yeah? Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Movie. Me too. And we, uh, we've only seen it, what, like 30 times? 32. Well, who's counting? What guy would ever indulge me like this? That, that is just what I was thinking. <sighs> Weird. It was Goethe. Yeah, you're right. I think it was Goethe who said that people rarely love others for who they really are, but rather what they imagine them to be. Right. <laughs> so, go and prepare for takeoff. Okay. Ready? One. One. Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sai, what do you imagine me to be? An angel. Oh, really? <laughs> but obviously, I know that you're really a flesh-eating demon. <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, <laughs> it's snow everywhere. <laughs> Subject of imagination. Uh, I believe it was Shakespeare who said that uh, so full of shapes as fancy as it is alone is kind of Hey, Jess. Hey. Wow. You look like death warmed over. Quinn's plan to help helped too much. Ryan's killing us trying to get the books reorganized. Oh, by the way, Quinn called for you. Really? You like him. No, I don't. Well, I think he likes you. You never know. He may ask you out. No, he won't. Why? Because, um, he thinks I have a boyfriend. <gasps> you didn't tell him about Sai, did you? Sorta. Well, which part of sorta? Like, size sorta not real? Like, he's imaginary? Sorta. Okay, Abby, what's up with Sai? You know, he's just there for me all the time. Well, that's great when you were five, but what about now? Quinn's real, and he likes you. He's gonna think I'm crazy. I didn't think you were crazy when you told me. We were five years old, we didn't know any better. Just tell him, okay? Abby, not alone. Okay, okay, this can work. This has got to work. <laughs> Hold everything! Oh, no! Oh. I found these from the world history section. Someone had them in gardening. No, no. God, this is impossible.
I'm gonna kill Quinn. What? Nothing. We should be halfway done by now. We're not even through the youth section yet. We'll be fine. It's starting to pick up. No, it isn't. If we don't get this turned around, Corporate's gonna have my job. How's it feel? I need you to work Thanksgiving. I can't. I'll pay you double. Triple. Cal, what are you doing? Fixing your car. But my car's not broken. Oh. You know what, you should just go to Abby's. Am I supposed to walk? Well, I mean, obviously your car's broken. Bro, it was working before hey, you came on Kitten, me. kitten, why don't you just walk away? It'll be done by the time you get back, okay? All righty, great. my favorite. Oh, uh, what is it? One flunk food. One flunk nothing. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It was, uh, cute. <laughs> oh, good. Chinese. I am starving. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Brian has been working Thanksgiving. What? No, Jessica, you promised. I'm sorry. She's paying me triple. What, was that stupid? It's not stupid, just greedy. I'm gonna take mine to go. Don't study too hard. <laughs> Did Jess just steal half our dinner? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, here, take your fortune before she comes back and steals that. I love these. And Confucius says, it is important to look out for that which you cannot see. Huh. What the hell does that mean? I have no idea. Sai, what are you doing? I know when I'm not wanted. Is this about last night? I just hope that you're happy with him. With Quinn. Of course with Quinn. <laughs> if he breaks your heart, I swear What are you I... gonna do, hmm? You gonna, like, stab him with some imaginary sword? Careful. Sorry. That man is a player. He's, he's, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wait a second. Hey, that's mine. Actually, we bought this together. You can have the telly. It won't fit in my bag. All right, stop. Enough. Sit down. Now, you listen to me. I am not going to leave you for him, okay? You promise? Mm-hmm. Then prove it to me. Fine. Anything. Would you have to spend so much time spoon-feeding that baboon? I mean, <laughs> couldn't you just lend him one of your art books? You can't read, can't you? door. <laughs> Wait, then maybe I have the wrong door. Why does this keep happening to me? Is, is Quinn here? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're both in the right place then. Good. Um, well, I, I've actually seen you before. You at the bookstore. What bookstore? Borders on Fifth. what I look like? You look like you. You know, well, oh, except you're wearing pants. Uh, pants. Yeah, all right. That sounds like that could have been me. Yeah, all right. Come on in. 
Oh, yeah, you're the artist type person that's helping Quinn with his homework. Uh, yeah. yeah. The one who's dating that guy with that really weird name. Sai, right. That's not that weird. Um, do you think you could just give this to Quinn for me, please? Yeah. You know what? No, no. It's not really not a good idea. I tend to lose things, and then when I lose them, Quinn gets mad. And then when he gets mad, he yells, and I fear the yelling. So maybe you should just give it to him yourself, okay? Okay. Your face is good. You want some chicken salad? Mm -hmm. I made it with ham. <laughs> it, I... Hey. Oh. I didn't expect to see you. Oh, here. Uh, yeah, you know, um, Kevin let me in. Oh, great. You want something to eat or a drink? I think cow made chicken something. Uh, no, actually, I just, I, I came by to, to give you this book. Oh, great. We can study here? Yeah, I was just kind of thinking, you know, you could study by yourself. Whoa, whoa. Are you trying to bail on our deal? No. Good. Here we go. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go missing for a little while here, right? Oh, I hope you're not leaving because of me. That's totally because of you. This is just weird. Awkwardness and... Well, I mean, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too, uh... uh Abby. That could have been it. He's a little... Different. I believe the proper term used today is... challenged. Uh, okay, so, um, 202, 203... Yeah, up to 205, and, um... Uh, the top of 207, and, and yeah, I think you should be good. All right. Hey, uh, you hungry? Uh, no. <clears throat> Fine. You're not hungry at all? Uh-uh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Look me in the eye and tell me you're not hungry. E Say, you're almost there. Quinn, I'm a little... I'm a little hungry. Great, let's get something new. You actually want me to believe that Johann Vermeer traced his art. He used a camera. Vermeer is a 17th century artist. There weren't any cameras back then. He used a camera obscura, which was a primitive camera. Basically, it would project the image onto the canvas. But you'd be surprised by the number of 17th century artists who experimented with it. I mean, just think about it. You get hired to paint a great grand duke or, or a bishop, right? You cannot take any risks. Okay. Look at the lighting, the perspective. Most of the models in the paintings are left-handed. Well, so what? Most people are right-handed. The projections would have mirrored the image. What happened to the guy that didn't know anything about art? It was a lot easier to hate him. Minor in history. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, let me... Oh, please. My treat. Thank you. I want to show you something. You want to show me something? It's a surprise. Uh, mm, yeah, no, thank you. I'm not, I'm not good at surprises. Oh, we're going to change that. I want you to consider this a new experience, OK? Come on. So a bunch of local artists have an exhibit here about, I don't know, once a month. Just thought you may want to check it out. How'd you find out about this place? Oh, I come for the music. Cool. Yeah, all kinds of bands come in and out of here. Next week, Braid's performing. Oh, really? I like them. That's cool. Uh, why don't you check out the artwork and I'll grab us some drinks. have this phobia of clowns. Never did figure out the origin. Stephen King's It didn't really help my condition either. 
Well, I think they're beautiful. Thanks. You're an artist? Uh, I'm an art student. Don't worry. It took me a while to admit I was an artist, too. Hey, Verna, come here for a second. You guys have a good time, and you have a terrific boyfriend. And he's not. You have a terrific boyfriend. This must be so exciting for you. That girl was kind of cute. Someone jealous? No. She's a. Uh, she's someone I've known for a real long time. Her mom got sick, so uh, I lent her money to fly home. That's it. You gotta go home soon, huh? Mm-hmm. In a little bit. Good. You up for another surprise? <laughs> so pretty. Yeah. Hey, isn't that Calvin? Out of the way! Hey, you're in the skate! Out no. of the way! That's the Zamboni thing. I'm Canadian, I can't drive! You like the skate? pretty good at it. <laughs> Great. Then you could teach me. You brought me here and you don't know how to skate? <laughs> you really can't skate, can you? I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> um, I, um, there's, um, well, something that I, I need to tell you about Sai. What's that? I, um, oh, gosh! <laughs> okay, you okay? <laughs> What was Sai thinking? Well, he... <laughs> and there is something I... I want to tell you. Cal. The light. Quinn, the pants. What are you talking about? I thought we were playing word association. No, just shut off the light. Yeah, no, I'm too tired. You just walked past it. And that should show you how tired I am. Just shut off the light. So, how's Tabby? It's Abby. Huh, ah, that's what I said, Tabby. She's great. Cool. So, what happens next? I don't know. Like, I like her, but she's got this boyfriend. Oh, yeah, you know, she told me about that guy. He sounds really cool. Oh, yeah, no, you don't stand a chance. Oh, great. She went out with you, though, didn't she? Yeah. Well, then maybe she'll settle for somebody like you. I mean, even if he is... The hottest guy on the planet. <laughs> she said that? Oh, yeah, she went off. She you know what? That might have been on TV. I don't remember. Huh. Perfect. <clears throat> Cow, the glass. Only hurts if you step on it, my friend. Ow! Good morning, darling one. Good morning. You got home late last night? Hmm. Thought you said you were helping him with his homework. It was homework. Oh, really? And the skating rink? That's a date. It wasn't a date. Look. 
This is very hard for me, all right? I've never had to deal with a real man in your life before. I don't want to talk about this right now. Fine. Well, next time you need me, I might just be otherwise engaged. Got as thick as a seat break tonight at the underground. Oh, you did? Oh. Dumbass. Hmm. Thanks. I can't go. Really? I, I thought we agreed on studying tonight. Yeah, I know we did. I just, uh, you know, I kind of promised I would do something. All right, uh, cool. Then, uh, I'll just see you at class. Okay. Wow, you look like crap. Oh, well, thanks. I was working all night sorting books. Mm. Hey, is uh, Abby home? Uh-uh. Let me ask you something. Tell me about Sai. What? You know, was he like, was he look like? Oh, uh, well, Sai is, well, he's kind of hard to describe. Well, he's here all the time, isn't he? Well. He works a lot. Really? What does he do? Oh, he's, uh... We, uh... Come on, it can't be that hard. Well, it's just that I... Uh... Yeah? Well, I don't want to make you feel bad or anything. Why would his work make me feel bad? Well, because... Uh... <sighs> because... Uh... He's a lawyer. That's impressive. What kind of lawyer is he? Uh, a good one. <laughs> you know the drill. Books off the desks, no talking. This is where I find out who simply needs help and who is simply helpless. did okay. That's good. Hey, how come you didn't tell me Cy was a lawyer? Oh, um, uh, I, I didn't. Yeah, Jess told me. Oh, she did. That's, <laughs> well, uh, there you go. <laughs> well, I was kind of thinking maybe I could call him, ask him some advice yeah. about internships yeah, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that, that would be great. Great, what's his number? Um, uh, you know, he's, he's working on a big case right now. Really? What kind of case? Um, he works for the government, so it's sort of, shh. <laughs> uh, I understand. Well, maybe you could call me. Yeah, I will. I'll have him call you. It's a good idea. Abby? Yeah? Where are you going? Yeah, I have another class. It's that way. Yeah. Hey, you know what I think? Huh? I think you need a break. I don't think so. I'm I think fine. you do, and I think you deserve it. No, I'm good. Is it okay to leave our stuff here? Yeah, just put it here. Give me your hand. Why do you need the flashlight? Because it's gonna get dark. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Hey, what is this place? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's stupid. Flashlight. Just flashlight's not working. Oh my God! Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't leave me in the dark. You're a bad monkey. It's a new dinosaur museum. The university is opening up next month. Are we supposed to be in here? It's no big deal. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is such a good idea. <sighs> My man, Big Al, is a security guy here. He says as long as we don't touch anything, we're cool. Trust me. Wow, this place is just—it's so amazing. <laughs> I told you. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's. Uh... Big out, hang on. Oh, okay.
Let's not big out. Let's not big out. What? Run. something I could drink? Uh, yeah, there's soda in the cooler. Thanks. Yeah! What, are you okay? Hello, darling. Oh, one. uh, yeah. Um, um, it, it, do you know how much I love the soda? Look at him. I wonder how many naive young women he's lured up here, huh? Under the pretext of helping him with his homework. No soda? Um, yeah, no. No soda. Actually, I would never like to have soda ever again. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> Sorry, this place is such a wreck. I wasn't really expecting company. And I think the last girl we had here was Cal's mom. Likely story. Really? I mean, don't you just love the way the surrealists make our wildest imaginings come to life? Neanderthal man, your thoughts? Yeah. Fascinating insight. It's like they're speaking a foreign language we can understand, but you just don't know how. Where the hell did that come from? That is beautiful. Thanks for walking me home. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, uh, it's my pleasure. Huh? You know, uh, anytime size out of town and you need a walker homer, <laughs> I'm your guy. I'm not out of town, right? I'm very much in town. Uh, I'll let you know. You know, I was just... I was wondering, I mean, I'm sure that you've already got, you've got plans, you know about Thanksgiving, but if you Actually, don't... Actually, it's, uh, bacon sandwiches with Cal. Abby, please, do not invite him to Thanksgiving. Would you like to come to Thanksgiving with me at my parents' house? <laughs> you sure you want me to come? Yeah, I'm, I'm really sure. What about Cy? But what about me? You know, he's English. They don't really do Thanksgiving. So you invited him to go to your parents? Well, yeah, I, I don't know what got into me. Well, whatever it is, I think it's good. Yes, I need you. Can't you see I'm having my coffee break? Yeah, yeah, it's just that, uh, well, Thanksgiving's tomorrow and we're only about halfway through, so if you could just... Are you harassing me because of our prior relationship? No, no, but... Do we need to call corporate? No, 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 that's, that's fine, no, you... Go ahead and just let me know when you're uh, back, then. <laughs> That's fun. So how are things going between you and Quinn? They're going fine, thanks. Well, that's decisively indecisive. He's kind of cute. You haven't told me about Sai, have you? Mm -mm. I was going to, but I... Uh... You know, maybe it's time you let Sai go. Mm, no, it's not really easy. Well, sure it is. No, it's not. Well, Jess, look at you. 
No offense, but like, every relationship you get into seems to be dysfunctional. Abby, having an imaginary boyfriend is textbook dysfunctionality. Okay. I mean, it's like those paintings you do of him. They're perfect, but you need to paint somebody that's real. Somebody that moves and, you know, breathes. Hey, 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 that's my face that you're ripping up. No, it's hopeless. My work, it's it's dead. It's like No, it is not. Look, you cannot listen to that bookstore clerk. What did I tell you about real people? No, what if she's right? What if I should be painting real people? What, you mean like Quinn? Huh? Because I'm so boring and lifeless and he's so full of manly vigor? I didn't say that. Look, let me tell you something. You know, I am pretty bored of this whole soppy, sweet, sexually non-threatening persona that you've given me. Oh, oh my darling, nothing is too good for you. You know, I think I do pretty well with the material that you've given me. Yes, that's exactly the problem. I give you everything. Maybe I need somebody who no, gives... Say no more. It's fine. You know, I'll just go and see my friends, my other friends, who don't think that I'm lifeless and boring. What other friends? You're imaginary. Do you really think that you're the only one who dreams me up? There are thousands of lonely women just like you. Granted, they may not all be as attractive as you, but, you know, um, Millie from Minnesota is really uh, quite charming if you can get past her accent. Millie from Minnesota. Mm. Yeah. So I hope that you have a spectacular painting session with your Neanderthal boyfriend. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, mm. I hate romantic comedies. All right, pretty boy, come on. Fire one in here. Oops, my bad. Let's go, Chief. See if you can get past the mighty Canadian. You okay? I'm good, baby. Come on. Give me another one. Come on! So I'm going to Abby's for Thanksgiving. That should be fun. You, her, and the lawyer. He's not going. Oh. Well, hey, man, that's great for you. You know, I can make your move. Come on, Cal. You know I'm not that guy. Besides, we're just friends. But you know what? Everything starts as just friends. But then the next thing you know... Oh, my God! I'm OK. Got it. Uh-oh. This happens all the time, man. Need help? Stop in the net. I'm good. All right. Ow! I'm gonna get gone. Hang out. What? Hey! What about our feast? I think I'll take Abby. Over bacon? I like her more than swine, Cal. It's love, man. Later, bro. Hey! Hey, you know, if you leave me, I just kind of look silly. All right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh. These are for you. I mean, if that's okay. Yeah, it, it's it's great. Thanks. I, I've never been given flowers before. Thank you. Really? Uh, you know, from any of the side sides. Yeah. Of course. I mean, those are more like you know, hey, happy Thanksgiving flowers. I want you to think of this as a new experience, okay? Which house is yours? Trust me, you'll know. So your parents really get into this, huh? Yeah, you should have seen it during the garlic festival. The what? Oh, but <laughs> I'll tell you later. You ring your own doorbell? Uh, yeah, safer. <laughs> Happy Turkey Day! Hi! <laughs> come in, come in. Oh. Your father will be out in a moment. Very nice to see you again, Quentin. Oh. Well, look who's here. Good. Oh. Hey, Louise, where's my turkey? In the attic next to your Frankenstein suit. The attic? Yeah. Great. Well, come on. I have some pilgrim punch for you. Oh, okay. You know I make a mean gobbler cobbler. Look out, turkey coming through. Watch my tail. I'll just take some of this. <gasps> George, 
You do that again, I am going to have Quentin tie you to the table and baste you for dinner. <laughs> Besides, I think a turkey eating turkey is cannibalistic. Man, you guys have been everywhere. Yeah, we used to travel all over the place. There's no pictures of Abby. Well, she was usually taking the pictures. That's when we went to the Grand Canyon. Abby, when were we at the Grand Canyon? I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we usually left her with her Aunt Edna. Hey, that reminds me of a joke. Oh, Quinn, come on. Why did the police arrest the we'll turkey? Be back. Where are you going? We're going to eat in an hour. Out. He was suspected of foul play. Oh, Father. That's a funny joke, sweetie. Sorry about rushing out of there. You know, dad jokes are not really funny. Uh, so anyways, this is, this is kind of the place that I went to when, um, you know, parents were parents. I hear you. My dad's a shrink. Really? Yeah, psychoanalyzes everyone. Cal actually hasn't been to the house in some time. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, obvious reasons. Uh, do you swing? I swing, yes. <laughs> I remember them being so much larger. <laughs> it's kind of scary growing up, isn't it? Yeah, it is, huh? Uh, so, uh, is this where you and Mr. Wonderful hang out? Jealous? No, I'm not jealous. <laughs> Someone's jealous. I love these things. Ugh, I hate them. They make me nauseous. Are you kidding me? They're the worst. They're awful. Come on. Real quick, for me. No. 30 seconds. Give no. me 30 seconds. What's the worst thing that can happen <laughs> in 30 seconds? To. 30 seconds and you're free. OK? OK, but go slow. Slow. I'm, I didn't even start yet. You're going too fast. Now I'm going to start. No, please don't. Just a little bit. I'm getting dizzy. Just a little bit. I'm going to throw up. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's OK. You're safe with me. Just hold on. <laughs> Oh. Well, I just about got the bleeding stopped. This is really embarrassing. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it, Quinn. I was a field medic and I seen worse than this. Oh, Dad, Dad, it's okay. I don't think he's giving me your services. You know, when I was a kid on the playground, never a scratch. Uh, now look at me. Well, Abby used to come home every other day with a bumper or bruise. She always blamed it on Cy. Mom, you don't have to talk about that. It's okay. What about Cy? Si? You ever get hurt? Well, Mom, there's those buns, what? right? They, and you don't want them to burn, do you? Cy si never got hurt. Yeah, yeah. I smell something. Wow, there's fire! Oh my gosh! Yes! There's something, there's something. It's burning in the kitchen. Oh, there's nothing burning? You're imagining things. No, Mom, I'm not imagining things. You imagine things all the time. <laughs> well, what about Cy? Si? Her perfect imaginary friend. At what age did you finally give him up? Oh, honey, honey, look, the meat. The meat is frozen ooh, to his head now. Oh, yippies. Careful. Jesus. Oh, it's okay. Honey, don't let the dog out. Don't let the dog out. Yeah, I have been trying to tell you. Really? Would you please just let me... Explain? Explain should lie to me? That you blew me off for somebody who doesn't even exist? I mean, I felt guilty having feelings for you. And it's all because you made me believe you had a boyfriend. I didn't make him up because of you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Please, tell me. I didn't have parents that understood that raising me was a job. I just kind of felt like this accessory. And I don't know if you've ever really felt loneliness before. You know, but I have. You know, the side that you keep hearing about is, is just the place that I went to that made it easier. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry that I... Sorry. 
I'm gonna go. Yeah. I think you should. You're gonna get over him, and I'm gonna be here to help you. You've just never fallen for a real guy before. You've never felt real pain. But I'm not sure I felt real love either. Everything okay? Yeah, I love the new setup. Oh, wonderful. Happy holidays. Thank you. <gasps> there are two people from corporate here, and they're looking for me. <gasps> they look mad. Ryan, I think you should know something. What? Excuse me, miss. Well, those two guys from corporate. They weren't from corporate. They weren't. It was my cousin and his roommate. Your cousin works for corporate. <sighs> Hello? No. My cousin did it to get my job back. Look, this registers. It's for you. Are you Ryan Sanders? Okay, now I know. Yeah, I'm Ryan Sanders. We've been getting some calls on some changes you've been making in your store. I can explain that. Very impressive. Most of this is her fault. You like it? Yes. You really like it? Like it? We love it. Love it. Well, we... Ryan and I came up with it together. If that's the case, you both should be commended. Our company needs more self-motivated employees like the two of you. We'll be keeping our eyes on you, since we'll be needing a new regional manager before too long. Of course, that's if your lovely assistant is willing to become manager here. You know, you uh, could have taken all the credit for yourself. Why didn't you? Because we did it, Ryan. As a team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess we did, huh? You know, there's a nice way to handle the books, and that wasn't it. <laughs> You're funny. You're a funny girl, really. I have mixed emotions with your results. Some of you, I was pleasantly surprised. Others, disappointed. Most of you performed exactly as I'd expected. Oh, hey, Quinn. Quinn, Quinn, what did you get on the test? Oh, wow, hey, that's really great. We both kept our part of the deal. Yeah, so um, when do you want to start studying for the final? I think I'll be better on my own. What are you doing? 
changing. To what? I don't know yet. Oh, this is looking a little tired too. It's got dirt on it. I sure wish Abby would come with us sometime. Or she could bring that friend of hers, Quinn. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, I sure do like him. <laughs> he seems like a nice fellow. Tall, too. I guess this means things can get back to normal. Our relationship isn't normal, Sai. You can't hold me. Or kiss me or... Yeah, the thing is... The thing is, is... That the thing is that it's time for me to say goodbye. I know. I can't imagine my life without you. That's what happens. Girls grow up and then they leave their imaginary boyfriends. I'm sorry that I... that I clung on so hard. I just couldn't bear to see you suffer. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Good luck with, uh, with Quinn. He's gonna come back to you. Don't Just know. don't be too hard on him if he doesn't want to go to lots of romantic movies. <laughs> Most guys, they don't like that stuff. Thank you. Sweetie, I'm so glad you came. Hi. It's so much better with you here. Well, it's time to try something new. <laughs> hey, is everybody ready? What? Well, yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Honey, it's not too impressive. Oh, it's terrific. Just wait till tonight. It's gonna look wonderful. You sure I'm not adopted? Oh, I love you too, dear. <laughs> Should we tell her about her headstone? Oh dear, let's save that for Christmas Day. What are you doing? Hey, what's going on? No, that's my cousin Jasper right here. And this is uh, my stepmother's half-brother's son, Darwin. Yeah. 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 What's up? How's it going? <laughs> we're just hanging out here getting our music down because we're going to record an album. <laughs> we 
and gentlemen, the crazy pucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're awesome. <laughs> Fitting. Dude, it's both freezing out here. Yeah, you know what? I actually think the cold helps our musical ability. So, huh? How's the old dating game going? Man, it's like a bad reality show. That good, huh? No, cow, that's bad. Uh. Bro, is there ever a time when eight out of the ten voices in your head agree on one thing? You know, I don't know. I've never asked them. But I do know that they want to know why you walked away from Abby. Why you walked away from Abby. That... Why did you walk away from Abby? Make it Abby. Uh, Abby. Now he's walking away from the heart. I better go, cause he's kind of fragile. Away from me. I gotta go, he's fragile and like a girl. Work with that girl. Please don't take my sandwich, cause that's what I like to eat. That was rude. <laughs> We had issues. Come on, man. You're the one who's got issues with commitment. And take it from somebody who's been committed. You gotta let love take care of itself. That makes about as much sense as a kamikaze pilot wearing a helmet. Hey, just because somebody's a practicing kamikaze does not mean they shouldn't be safe. Kamikaze pilots committed suicide, Cal. Yeah, they understood commitment. You don't understand. Her boyfriend? She made him up. He doesn't exist. He's imaginary. So? When I was growing up, I was a kid next door's imaginary friend. Not funny. Yeah, wasn't for me either. Thinking because I'm imaginary, I never had to use the bathroom. It's like the worst month of my life. Cal, please, just two seconds, man. There's no such thing as the perfect woman, bro. She just doesn't exist. The only thing I know is that since you met her, you're the happiest I've ever seen you. I'm not happy right now. Well, maybe that's because you're sitting here talking to the wrong person. That's the miser. <sighs> Jess, do you know where I can find Abby? She's not here. Do you know where she is? No, and I don't think she's up to seeing you. Because of Sai? Because of you. Me? You were the first real guy she's ever loved. But at the first sign of trouble, what did you do? Just please, I just want to find her. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me find a book on the mating rituals of the African dung beetle. I know exactly where that book is. OK, well, <clears throat> I'm going to get going. Just let me know if you see her. Thank you. Uh, Abdul. Oh, no. Actually, it's Jess. That's pretty, too. And your name? David. 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 I like that name. I saw a face in the clouds before the rain. It felt good to see you again Then it all washed away I can't explain How I miss you If I'd only known How much this would hurt How I would be craving to be in your world Now I know Never let you go. I saw your painting. 
I wanted to paint something real. What are those for? They're for you. That is, if uh, Sai doesn't have a problem with it. He's gone. You know I'm not perfect. I'm not looking so perfect anymore. Thank you. 